guys, it is beta day. Our blood test is at 7.45 a.m. So we're just about to head out. <laughs> Someone's excited. Yay! Um, I'm excited too, but I also, my stomach kind of hurts. I don't know if, like, it feels like cramps. Like I'm gonna start my period, but I've heard that could be a sign, a good sign. Oh, buddy. <laughs> so we're gonna hop in the car and head to our blood test. It's 7.45 a.m., did I already say that? Anyway, I scheduled it early in the hopes that maybe they would call early, but who knows, who really knows? They'll probably call like five or six tonight. So, all right, let's do this. My sister-in-law gave me this necklace last night and it says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says E love, E heart, C. Anyway, super cute. And it's good because it's something I can just like play with while I'm nervously waiting. We're here. We're just waiting for them to call us back. Twenty minutes later. I've been poked twice now today. Didn't hurt me one bit. <laughs> it actually didn't hurt that bad. It's just annoying. Because I'm awesome. Thanks, honey. All right, we have our progesterone shot done, and now we wait for the blood test, and then tonight, hopefully, we get to do our estradiol shot because that would mean that we're pregnant. Eventually. All right, you guys, we got a phone call, just barely, and, um... Is it gonna read it backwards? We have a voicemail, and it's only what time? Noon? It's noon. I, they said they'd call between two and six, so I'm taking this maybe as a good sign. I don't even know what to do with myself. Where should we put this? Oh so my. Oh my gosh. <sighs> hey, Chelsea. I have your lab results, so call me back as soon as you can. Thanks, girl. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks, girl. She sounds kind of <laughs> in a good mood. I want to call back. Yes. Thank you for calling Utah Fertility Center. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. To speak to Transferring to... <clears throat> Chelsea, what are you doing? Um, just hanging out at home with Eric. <laughs> I love it. Okay, do you guys have a second? Yeah. Um, girlfriend, you're super pregnant. <gasps> Yay! Super yeah, pregnant. I'm so happy. So it, like, just came over. I was like, I Good news. Yes. <laughs> I never want to hear that my progesterone was low, though. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least of our problems. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> you just gotta get some better progesterone. That's all. I like, don't even know what to think. It doesn't feel real at all. Congratulations. Thanks. You did it. 
with my help. <laughs> oh my gosh, like maybe it'll hit me later, but. <laughs> what do you I think, know. dog? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Dance party! <laughs> Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way. We're gonna document this. 18, 720, and 24, 770. Like seeing it on paper is so overwhelming. Just day by day. All done with shot number one. It didn't even hurt, I just need <laughs> it. Twenty-two eggs today. Which is eight eggs per number. We have eight embryos. Three came back genetically normal. They put water like in a saline solution of me. And they checked to see that polyps and fibroids and all that kind of stuff. And guess what? I have polyps. Like a lot of them. So they have to surgically remove them. It is hysteroscopy day. Wave to the people. <laughs> I ended up hearing back from the fertility clinic. The cyst that I have in my left ovary is active. So because of that, they said I can't proceed with this frozen embryo transfer. At least not for right now. Today we are going to our baseline appointment. Uh, we were given the green light to go ahead and get this thing started. It is progesterone and oil day. It's transfer day! You won't see the embryo, but you're gonna see a white, little white spot, and that's gonna be the air bubble right next to the embryo. Right there. Cool. 